lots of clouds today. It seems like it might start raining too. It's actually dripping a little bit at some parts anyways. And what did I read today? How about this first one where apparently I guess somebody flew a drone, an unauthorized drone per se, even though they were doing it for work purposes. This one says, Hebei surveying firm fined for unauthorized drone flight ordered to apologize. Imagine that, huh? Making you do these public, I guess, shaming routines as well. That's what you want to say. A surveying and mapping company in Hebei province has been fired over 120,000 won in order to publish a public apology for infringing on national defense interests with an unauthorized drone flight. According to Ynet.com, a news website, the incident occurred in November 2022 when the San city government contracted the company to conduct an aerial survey of a mining area using drones. However, an unqualified employee identified only as Lin operated a self-assembled drone without proper authorization or flight plan. Imagine that, landing like a big contract of sort of not going through all the legalities and stuff that you need to go through. It says, the Langfin City Intermediate People's Court recently held both the company and Lin accountable for the incident. The court imposed the fine and the requirements for a public apology in national media, which both parties accepted. Well, that's quite a punishment over there. You have to make like a commercial per se, like to apologize. And they say too, this case is not the first of its kind. In December 2019, another company faced similar consequences for unauthorized drone flights in restricted areas causing disruption and financial losses. To address these concerns, the State Council and the Central Military Commission jointly issued an interim regulation on unmanned aircraft flight in May 2023, effective January 1st, 2024. This regulation aims to strengthen safety management and promote the responsible development of the drone industry. Again, it's kind of crazy considering the fact that it was a company doing this. you think they know all the proper procedures and all that. Regardless of how over the top the regulations are in a lot of places, that's what you have to do when you do like commercial work and stuff, huh? But with that thought, what if it's just people taking, let's just say, pictures or videos of a scenario and people just say, oh, I just don't like it. That's kind of what the allegation seems like based on some of the comments and stuff. This one says, four arrested for photographing Agbo with drone. According to this anyways, I believe it's an elephant. It says, a group of four young men who attempted to illegally take close-up photos of Tusker Agbo with a drone camera were arrested and the drone camera was seized by the Therapane police on Wednesday evening. Tusker Agbo, which had received gunshot injuries on one of his limbs, had been released after providing treatment under the care of the wildlife department surgeons and is now frequenting the Therapane area. So that makes you wonder, were they doing anything actually wrong or did someone just say, for example, I don't want you taking photos and stuff because it says, Police rushed to the scene on information received from the public and through the Sri Lanka Air Force Intelligence Unit that they had noticed a suspicious drone in the Threpane skies. Investigations revealed that the drone camera used by the suspects belonged to an individual in the Maho area. However, the suspects had not obtained permission from the relevant authorities to photograph in that area using a drone camera. A senior police official said the Sri Lanka Air Force has initiated an investigation regarding the drone camera of a foreign make. I would imagine based on that wording is just something like a DJI drone for example, but yeah, you can read the comments and all that. I don't know exactly what the rules are down there, but like this guy is saying, wonder what law was broken by the four unless it is harassing of a wild animal or did the police have information that they were planning to kill it for ivory. Someone says like, BS, there's nothing wrong in that. It is not a high security area. And people even saying, for example, jokes in Sri Lanka, drone cameras also a form of photography. As far as it is used responsibly, why arrest? So that is the question per se. And kind of an interesting thought, this comment says, this is why we are not progressing as a nation. I don't find it an offensive act. My assumption is that these four being arrested because they will reveal the health condition of Agbo and the irresponsible workers who look after Agbo. That's kind of an interesting thought anyways. You can't rule it out completely, but it makes you wonder with things like over the top regulations, people always say never fly it here and there in scenarios. It seems like you could do it perfectly safe and just document the situation. 
should you be allowed to do that? Because if you encourage like over the top regulations, for example, what's stopping someone when they're just saying, oh, I'm doing something bad. I just don't want you to see it. So I'm banning them all. I mean, that would be really bad, isn't it? So you have to have the balance there. Focus on actual safety, not fear mongering per se. And this piece of news was going around here a lot, which was kind of interesting as here they have things like a park board, but apparently they want to get rid of it. It's kind of that notion where people always say you should downsize the government and all that. This one says Vancouver Council votes to dismantle elected park board. The motion by Mayor Ken Sims asked the province to amend the Vancouver Charter to allow the dismantling of the park board and give council direct oversight for the city's parks and recreation facilities. It was passed Wednesday night along party lines with Sim and ABC Vancouver councillors supporting the motion. Sim said the current system was broken, inefficient, costly, and leads to delays, saying here, quote, We estimate this change will yield immediate cash savings in the millions and we will invest those dollars back into the city and our parks and facilities, he told council. Sim has not explained where those savings would come from despite repeated requests by Post Media over the last week. And some criticism towards that because they're saying this is undemocratic per se. If people were elected, then they should be able to, in a sense, do their job, like what people voted them to do. It says Green Party's Adrian Carr, who opposed the motion, along with Pete Fry and One City's Christine Boyle, said the result was highly undemocratic. The process to me is shocking, said Carr. I have never heard of a case where a duty elected body was eliminated by another elected body midterm with a stroke of a pen, comparing the move to backroom insurrection. So what would you think in that case? In many ways, it is true when it comes to, I guess, government officials or let's just say park boards and all that. There's so much different chains you have to communicate with to get something, I guess, fixed per se. It's just taking money. But at the same time, there is that argument, if that's what people voted, then they should have, I guess, the ability to make those decisions, correct? Versus someone just coming in and saying, nope, I want to handle everything. I'd be wondering for these park board stuff too, is it really necessary or is it one of those things where people just kept doing it because that's all they knew? Like when they, let's just say, grew up, like, oh, you have to vote someone in versus saying, is this really necessary? I can imagine that's the case again when it comes to a lot of government officials and the way the process is. It's just so redundant. It just costs money. But again, I guess it's a debate. Do you think it's right or wrong in that sense?
All right. See you guys later.